Hey, what's going on today, everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. I'm doing your daily tarot card reading, and this is going to be for Tuesday, March 2nd. And I decided to start using the Starman Tarot card deck for Tuesdays. Um, yeah, I just felt like the fairy tarot just wasn't giving me enough. <sighs> anyway, this is what we're doing. Hope you guys are doing great, and thanks for being here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. I, I did a huge preamble yesterday, and I guess I'm having some residual guilt. <laughs> so we'll just get right into your reading. Hope you guys are doing fabulous as always. So Starman Tarot, uh, one of my favorite decks here, um, inspired by David Bowie. He collaborated on the artwork, so it's really kind of fun to see where his face pops up in the deck. So... Uh, let's start pulling some cards here for you guys to see what the general energy is. And this is going to be for all zodiac signs. So whatever your sun sign is or whatever you got going on here. So, all right. So the first card I pulled for you guys is the Ten of Swords. And I want you guys to, you can see David Bowie quite, clear, quite clearly in the card there. So the Ten of Swords, it, it talks about a... Um, the end of a cycle okay so the ten of swords in a standard i guess tarot card deck it it means the end of an ind individual like intellectual struggle um but this card goes a little bit deeper with the starman tarot it's sort of the end of duality so you guys know that I'm a spiritual practitioner and I have another channel called Oracle Rising to help people on their ascension path and all of that good stuff. So I might interpret cards or get different messages pushed to me through my team in spirit than, I don't know, other readers or whatever. But this is the end of a duality within yourself. This is... It's like the end of separation, you know, and really being able to tap into the one, you know, you are the one. Um, I keep on saying that The Matrix is a documentary, not a movie, and they keep on calling Neo the one, and everyone is the one, okay? So there is an end of separation value, um, and our, our world has been like pretty much rocked by separation and the individual and everybody having to have more than the other guy when there's plenty to go around for everybody. Hello. Um, so there's that separation and, uh, and marking your ascension path and just starting to see the world in a different way here. And there's probably going to be some sort of experience that might trigger that for you. I'll see if I can bring you down to the cards a little bit more. Um, you know, there's usually some sort of ignition of this, you know, there, there is something that is going to happen and it's like, I feel like it's like the galactic federation observing, you know, if you guys have not seen bringers of the dawn, I want to really recommend that book out to you guys because it's incredible so we have the queen of cups here this is a really fascinating queen of cups i'm going to show you guys this card um <clears throat> really seeing a complete flip in the script you know where divine feminine rises and takes I want to say power, but there is something a little bit deeper where like toxic masculinity is probably going to go by the wayside. And if people haven't realized that that's what it's going to take to save the earth as we know it right now, where uh, toxic masculinity needs to exit so the divine femininity and in, in the form of the queen of cups can take over and heal the planet, you know, for the good of everyone. I mean, to me, it's really obvious. Um, and we're starting to see stuff like this in government structures where women are coming into power. And you can agree with me or not, but I mean... 
we need a softer touch to run the world. You know, we've got way too much catastrophe going on. So I am kind of seeing this. And you guys could start to understand this and start promoting this and really start to embrace your divine feminine um, as your duality mindset fades away with the Ten of Swords. So this is kind of a deep reading. Uh, it might not be for everybody, but you know, um, I can't help that. But you know what I mean? If you are really searching for answers and you're you're having the winter of your discontent where things just, this can't be it. Like, and what are we doing? You know, what is happening on the planet? And why is this acceptable? Um, you'll start to see answers for you. You'll start to see um, things that you can do and things you can say and read and, and take hold of for yourself and promote this and, you know, embrace the divine feminine, which is represented in the strength card. Whenever you see a strength card pulled, that is representing divine feminine. And we saw that in your reading yesterday. So what card is this? It's upside down, but I don't do reversals because... So anyway, you guys, I find this really quite compelling because we pulled the Starman here. So the Starman card is the Magician card in other decks. But what I was saying before, uh, when I was looking at the Ten of Swords, is that I really see an impression of the Galactic Federation coming through here in the, um, in the face of David Bowie. So I find that really interesting that the Starman card would appear. I mean, it's not totally crazy that it appeared because this is a Starman tarot card deck, but you know, there's a deeper message in this deck that I think is being lost on, I don't know, lots of people, but that's what I'm here for to help you guys interpret it. Um, so the star man is coming in for you guys. And there's something really interesting I'm doing on my other channel. I'm just starting to do a series on different types of star seeds. So you guys could be waking up to the fact that you are in fact a star seed or a light worker or an empath or somebody that was sent here as a healer by the Galactic Federation in order to encourage the rise of the divine feminine and to start really promoting your healing powers here with the Queen of Cups. This is really interesting what I'm seeing here for you guys. Could be a really eye-opening um, day or week or year for you guys where things are... Like, why are they like this? Where you're really starting to think, you know, and, and starting to notice the glitches in the matrix. I need to write that down. Okay, so let's carry on. And maybe this is freaking you out a little bit, but I mean... It's time to wake up to your healing powers, you guys, and, and join the rest of us. Come to the starseed side. Come to the starseed side, you guys. Uh, <laughs> you can let me know what type of starseed you are down below in the comments. I'm an Arcturian starseed, you guys. And um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So I'm going to pull another card here for you guys. But this look, looks like it's going to be, wow, quite a week. Because we saw something yesterday that was quite powerful. And these are really powerful cards. And this is a really interesting image that I've got here for you guys. I pulled the lover's card, okay? So if you guys are a solo... I can't say that without some of that voice from Star Wars, Han Solo, but anyway, anyway, so you guys could be meeting somebody that is finally on the exact same wavelength of ascension path, of spirituality, of awakening that you guys are on, it could really amplify the work that you do as far as manifestation. We saw the Three of Pentacles in your reading yesterday, so um, this indicates that you are going to be amplified. This lover's card. If you're in a relationship currently, it could um, get to a point where you guys are really starting to understand each other in a deeper way. But for those of you who are single, um, I mean, the lover's card is saying, hello, you know, your twin flame is coming in. And this is a really good indication that you can expect that person to arrive pretty soon. And it's because you're starting to crack open. And for many of you, you could be cracking open as a starseed. And we can't get enough of them right now. So if you are a starseed, welcome here. And definitely check out my other channel, Oracle Rising. 
All right, I'm gonna go. I have wicked heartburn again today, you guys. So I'm gonna peace out and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Bye.